All right, so we're here at the ARM TechCon, and uh, who are you? My name is Ricardo Anguiano. I work for the Embedded Software Division of Mentor Graphics. Uh, today I have two demos in front of me. Uh, let's start with the, the flashier demo here. So uh, the screen that you see in front of you now uh, is actually a virtual machine that's running uh, an instrument cluster, uh, something like you'd see in a car. If you look down underneath, there's actually a Freescale i.mx6 uh, system. That's a quad-core system, and we have the Mentor Embedded Hypervisor running on that. So two virtual machines, one of them controls the instrument cluster, and the other one controls this IVI system. So, you know, we can scroll through here and uh, end up, uh, you know, picking up music. Now, part of the demo here is that I can restart this uh, portion of the system, and the instrument cluster continues to run. Um, and so that's the hypervisor demo today. Uh, now, you can tell that that takes just a, a second to restart. All of the boot instructions actually just came up here, and so... Um, How can they come up, up, up there? Uh, because there's a serial console. So right. the same board has uh, two different uh, outputs, or actually three different outputs. Uh, we have the, the, the instrument cluster, like I said before, the touch screen here, and then we have a serial console over here. So Nice. So, uh, so that's the first demo. So you provide this solution. You yes, provide solutions that enable customers to make this. Or, yes. Yes, yeah? that's right. Yeah. So the Mentor Embedded Hypervisor was announced last week. And we're here at ARM TechCon demoing it this week with a, with an IVI platform. So that means uh, there will be cars with IMX6 inside, with a bunch of things. A couple of OS can run at the same time. One for the uh, touch screens and one for the information stuff, for example. Yes, that's correct. And so, uh, and it's not just you know the Freescale platform, which is which is excellent, but uh, we run on a variety of platforms. Uh, we're initially targeting the, the IMX6, the ARM Cortex A9, but you know we'll soon have support for A15 and the the, the recently announced uh, uh, V8 R, R chip that uh, has the virtualization extensions. Those will be coming as well. And you have another demo? Uh, yes, I have a second demo here. And so, if you if you look at this screen here, uh, this this screen here talks about uh, how Sorcery Codebench Virtual Edition allows you to develop software on pre-silicon hardware models. So effectively, you're developing software on hardware that does not yet exist, and it's a it's actually a co-development uh, process where uh, your hardware team is iterating still on a not yet complete, not yet taped out design, and you'd like to exercise that with real software. And so at that point, you would turn to your software team and you would use a tool like Sorcery Codebench, which now has hooks to uh, connect into and load and run software on uh, simulated uh, platforms. And so what you see here is actually a screenshot of Sorcery Analyzer. Sorcery Analyzer has taken uh, trace data from the simulated models and has provided both a function call graph. And if I scroll down, you can see I have, um, I have power data as well. So this power data was... Uh, was um, provided by the uh, Vista virtual prototype and uh, and you can do correlation and you can explore you know the, the different uh, functions and their impact on your power profile so these are estimates that are generated by uh, the Vista virtual prototype and uh, in addition to that this was all uh, ex extracted using um, uh, non-intrusive methods so there was no application instrumentation there was no kernel instrumentation for this um, and this is all done non-intrusively, and uh, and that's uh, that's the demo. Can you explain what Mentor Graphics does, and Mentor Embedded does? Okay, so uh, Mentor Graphics is pretty well known in the uh, electronic design automation uh, field. If you are building a chip, if you are a semiconductor company, you either use our tools or you use our uh, competitors' tools to do that. Now. Through a series of acquisitions, uh, Mentor Graphics has uh, built a portfolio of embedded uh, software development tools and uh, platforms for embedded software development. Uh, so we now have uh, the Men Mentor Embedded Hypervisor. Sorcery Codebench is uh, our main IDE. It's an Eclipse front-end GCC back-end based uh, uh, development environment, mostly open source components, but we also have uh, some other components like the debug sprite that allows you to use our probes as well as third-party probes. Um, in addition to that, we have Sorcery Analyzer, which is our performance analysis tool. Uh, this is something that allows you to take something like the Linux Trace Toolkit uh, data and visualize it like, like we've done here. Uh, in addition, we have the Nucleus operating system, real-time operating system. 
Um, we support that. Uh, that's one of our products. We also have a Mentor Embedded Linux, which is, you can think of it like a uh, commercially supported version of the Yocto project, if you're familiar with that. It's a meta distribution with uh, full commercial support. Um, what do you do with Android? Uh, we, we have uh, an extensive services uh, team that also uh, provides uh, sort of consulting uh, services for a variety of platforms, including Android. So if you need Android ported to a custom uh, architecture or a weird peripheral set, you know, we can, we can do that. So if a chi chip maker is watching this video, they can contact you to get all this, but they already are in contact with you? Yes, absolutely. All, they all are? They all work with you? I think we're familiar with, with all of the players here in the, in the hall, yes.